Want to learn how to design a blanket for your print-on-demand shop just like this one? Today, that's what we're doing. That was a little silly, but in all seriousness, Printful allows you to make these beautiful fleece blankets. They also have embroidered blankets with gorgeous print options because it's sublimated print, so you can get this amazing detail like these stars in this blanket. This is based on the Sarah J. Moss series, Akatar, and I actually have licensing rights to make blankets from her context. But for today, because not everyone has licensing rights, we're gonna work on a blanket that's very similar in style, but has open copyright rights. So you can see exactly how you would do it if you weren't using a quote or characters or something like this. And so what I want to show you with this blanket is first the detail. This particular blanket I have had now for three or four months. We've washed it and the color and the print and the clarity continues to be amazing. The back side of the blanket is always going to be white and so you want to keep that in mind with your design. You want to make sure that the color on the front is going to work with a white background. Um, and you want to think about sizing. So because the blanket is so big, you're not used to working in 53 by 63 sizing. Um, you want to think about how big that print is going to look. So today we're going to walk through how to find the printful template for your blanket, how to get set up with a blanket design in Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to mention why we can't use Canva for blanket design. And then we're going to actually walk through making a full design and getting it uploaded to our shop. So I'm going to show you exactly how all of this works. Without further ado, let's dive in. This video is sponsored by Printful. Printful is a print-on-demand service with a wide range of product options, amazing print quality, and fast turnaround times to get your products in your customers' hands. We've been using Printful for several years now for all of our Smart Money Mamas swag and for our side hustle business, Kingdom of Threads, which we started last August. We love working with this company, and so if you want to start a print-on-demand shop to start making some side hustle money, even if you're not naturally a designer, be sure to sign up for your Printful shop at the link in the description and get started today and watch our whole whole video series that we have been working on for the last few months where we walk side by side how to set up print on demand. All right, so we want to start right inside our Printful shop. And why we want to come here is because we want to go to the product catalog and find the template specific to the product that we're making. This is going to show us the size that our product needs to be and all the print requirements. And so we're going to scroll down here. We're going to go to home and living on the left hand side. We're going to click blankets. And you're going to see that there's two options here. There's the throw blanket, which is 50 inches by 60 inches. And that's when you can sublimate and make an image for the whole blanket, similar to what I was showing you earlier. There's also an embroidered premium Sherpa blanket where you can embroider in the corner of the blanket. Those are beautiful, but today we're going to focus on the sublimated blanket. So click here. And then when you come down, you're going to see all the details about making that blanket. This is the size. This is the fabric thickness. This is all the mock-up styles available. But what you want to come to is file guidelines. The size of the blanket is 50 by 60 inches. But if you made your design that big, it wouldn't actually be big enough for what they need to print because you have the bleed sides on the blanket. And so you need a 53 inch by a 63 inch print size. You want to make sure you have at least 150 DPI and that your files are an sRGB color profile. This is going to make sure that the colors that you have for your blanket are as close as possible to what actually you made in the design. OK, use full bleed images, which means go all the way to the edge of your document, all the way to the edge of those 53 to 63 inches and stick to the safe print area. How do we know the safe print area? We use the print file template. So click download right here. We're going to get that print file template. It comes in a zip file because there's gonna be multiple ways to look at this. So you have um, an option to do Photoshop, you have a PDF option, a PNG option, and an Adobe Illustrator. Depending on what you wanna de design in, you're gonna pick which one works for you. And so we're gonna open up our Adobe Illustrator guideline. So this is the print file template for either a horizontal or a vertical blanket. You're going to see that the actual blanket is 50 by 60 inches, but the safe print area is 45 by 55 inches. You don't want to get too close to the edge with text or an image that you really need to be important. Keep everything important in 45 to 55 inches. This is also going to remind you the best file guidelines for your image. Okay, make sure that your fonts are embedded in the print files, especially if you're using a PSD format to submit. It's not as important if you have a PNG that you're at least 150 DPI and that everything is in RGB. OK, so now that we know those guidelines, what I'm going to do is create a new document. I like to just do it from scratch because it works easier for me. And I'm going to put in we need a 53 by 63 inch document, OK, which is a vertical alignment. We don't need any bleed. We're in RGB, which is what they told us. And we have 300 PPI, which is perfect. OK, so we're going to make that blanket. And then what you can do is you can copy these paths um, so that you have exactly what you need 
in this document. So I like to copy the paths, paste them here, and then make them the right size for your design. Make sure you hold down the shift key so it keeps the aspects. And now I can see that this line is my safe print area and I can keep it there. So what I'll do is go to layers, create a new layer, and this I'm going to rename design, blanket design. And then this layer we're just going to name template. And we're going to lock that. Okay, so now I, I have this. I can see it. It works great. I'm actually going to put it ahead of the design so I can always see those outlines. So now we're ready to get started with our design. First, we need a background. So you can purchase patterns, colors, backgrounds from places like Creative Market and Design Bundles to use in your blanket design if you don't want to draw something from scratch yourself, right? And so what we like to use is Design Bundles Plus Membership. So what's really nice about Design Bundles Plus Membership is you get a certain number of downloads each month for different design options, but they all have commercial rights and print on demand rights. Not all images that give you commercial rights give you the ability to use them for print on demand. I don't know why they separate it that way, but that's how it works. And so you want to make sure that anything you use for your print on demand designs has print on demand rights. And so I've already picked what we're going to use from here, but in the plus membership, look, it says there's over 176,000 different objects with commercial use. They add new products every day and you can really find whatever you need in here. So, so we have this celestial moon pattern that we absolutely love. It's so cute. Um, and it has the constellations on it and some moons and stars. And I really like it for the design that we're going to make. Okay. And so what we're going to do is we're going to select this image and we're going to go to properties. And I want you to click embed. If you're using any kind of seamless pattern, and especially if it starts as a PNG, the first thing that you want to do is embed it. Because when you embed it, then you're able to make a pattern from that object. So we have this embedded. And now we're going to go to object, pattern, make. I want to size the art to the tile, the tile to the art. And then I want to make sure that everything is aligned properly. And so when we look at this grid, the biggest thing we need to be able to see is are there gaps in lines in this? So what we want to do is we want to zoom in to 100% and kind of scroll up and see if you can see any lines between your squares. If you can, you would want to shrink that in a little bit. And so what I mean is if this is leaving like a white line down your design, which mine isn't, but if you were doing that, you can use the horizontal and the vertical spacing to bring it in very mildly. You don't want to mess with the design, but you could put negative 0.01 and it moves it just a little bit to close any gaps. So you make sure your blanket doesn't have any grid markings on it. You want to make sure this looks like a completely seamless pattern. So for this one, we don't need to do that. So we're going to leave this at the spacing at zero. We've sized it to the tile art um, and we're going to name this pattern maroon celestial. Okay. And we're going to just hit done. So we're going to back back up. So now that this is a pattern, we can actually take this image. And the first thing that I want to do is create a color palette. So we're going to hit new color group and do blanket design. And then hit OK. And then we're going to pick some color. So I'm going to make just a little shape. And I'm going to hit the um, eyedropper button right here. I'm going to start to pull some colors from the design. So we've got this maroon. Let's put that here. And then we're going to do some gold. Let's put that here. Let's do a darker gold too. We'll put that here. Let's get the white that's in the, the tan that's in the moon. We'll drop that here. And one of the darker maroons, okay, right here. And so the reason for this is as we start to do our design using the pattern, we want to make sure that it's as seamless as possible, that the text and the colors that we add really match the image that we're using for our pattern. So we're going to delete this, and we're going to delete this. And now what we're going to do is create a, a rectangle that goes the full size of our design, okay? And you can see that we can still see our bleed marks because the layer is on top, right? So now we have this full design. It's exactly 53 by 63, which is what we want. We'll make sure it's centered. And now we see this pattern that we created. All you have to do is click it. And now we have the full pattern is in our design, right? So we didn't actually have to copy paste all this. We could just use it. And so what we're going to do real quick one more time is zoom in 
and just double check we don't have any line gaps, right? We did that before with the pattern, but let's just make sure we don't have any line gaps. Okay, cool, we don't. All right, so now what we wanna do is figure out what we're gonna write on this. And so I already thought about this earlier, and what we're going to write on this is, shh, I'm escaping reality, right? So one of the reasons I read is when I need a break from reality. It's why I love fantasy books. And so we're going to write escaping reality. And so what I want to do is make a place for to write that, okay? So let's start with a circle. Maybe a circle will be a good fit, okay? And it's already taking the pattern as the image, which is not, is the background, which is not what I want. So what I want to do is pick a color to fill it with that matches the design. And maybe we want a border. Oops, so let's hit stroke and we'll use a border and let's make this a little bit thicker. Okay, 25. All right, and so now we have this image and so now we need some text. So let's put some text in here. And that text is way too small. And that text is way too big. So now we're gonna just bring it down. Okay, so what we wanna do is say, shh, I'm escaping reality. Okay, we're gonna get rid of all this lorem ipsum. All right, so now we're gonna center this and we're gonna make it the right fonts. And so we wanna, once again, choose a font that matches the design that we have. And so, because I had looked at this before, we are using a font called Garden um, Walk Script for the shh and uh, garden walk serif for the bottom. Okay, so we're gonna make this a little bit bigger so that we're closer to our, our circle, right? Um, and center it. And we're gonna make sure that reality, I don't know why it's doing that with the line. Okay, so what we wanna do is make sure that this is big enough to kind of cover what we have in our circle. Okay. And I want shh to be the same, almost the same width as I'm escaping. So I'm gonna futz with that a little bit. And then I'm gonna make reality bigger. I like that idea of that being like the most powerful word there, right? Yeah, okay. So what you're seeing is this is fine, except the spacing is weird, right? And so what we wanna do is double click on our image and this link right over here where you see the up and down arrows with the line height, that's gonna impact our line height. So we're gonna try a smaller line height and see how that looks. So see how that kind of scrunched that together? I like that. But reality's still not quite big enough, so let's make that bigger. Okay, let's make it a little bit bigger. And let's make sure that this has a little more spacing because we wanna make sure that reality's not right on top of escaping there. Okay, so now we have, shh, I'm escaping reality, which looks cute but it doesn't match the color. So we're gonna match the color just like that. And now I don't really like how this circle looks. There's a lot of white space, right? Which on a blanket's gonna look a little bit weird. And so instead of what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this a little bit wider and I'm gonna make it an oval, okay? So we're gonna center, center. Um, we're gonna move this into here like this. Center this, okay? And we got a little bit of white space up here. Let's add a design and so once again, uh, we put, pulled this from Design Bundles. There's this really cool set of floral books, which I think goes well with what we're doing. And so what I want to do is let's grab this one. Okay, I like this one. It feels like we're kind of open escaping into a, another world, right? And so I like that. We're going to shrink it a little bit. And we're going to make it the right color. So we're going to match it to our text color. And we're going to center it. And then we're gonna kind of pull this down and pull this down. I don't love how it fits. So we're gonna futz with it a little bit. A lot of this is just figuring out what the perfect spacing is, okay? So now we've got a blanket. This is all the same color pattern. It looks super cute. We can see from the line that we're in a safe print area and we go all the way to the edge of our bleed. And so the last thing we wanna do is come to our layers and hide the template. We don't want that visible, right? See how now it's gone? And then for the blanket design, we wanna make sure that everything that needs to be embedded is embedded. And so for the fonts, you wanna create outlines, okay? This is already there and everything else is embedded. So we're gonna go file, save as, escaping reality blanket and then we're going to export this as a PNG so file export 
export as PNG, and we're going to hit export. And we're going to keep it in that 300 PPI. We're going to make the background color transparent, and we're going to hit OK. So now we're ready to go back to Printful. We want to go to Chrome, and we want to do product templates. We always like to keep things in templates. It makes them easy to update, easy to make, add them to different shops. And so we're going to click on that. We're going to go home and living. We're going to go to blankets because we already know what we were making. We're going to click a throw blanket. And we're going to do the design. Our design is vertical. And we're going to upload our image. So choose a file, upload. We're going to pick our escaping reality blanket. All right, so we're going to click our escaping reality design. And look at that. We've got the safe print area. It's showing us. It looks good. My print quality is good. And everything looks nice. If we want to see a mock-up view of what it will look like when it's printed, it'll generate these print files and show us the mock-up right away. We can get an exact image of how it looks. And so this blanket is going to be so cute. So now we're going to hit continue. And we're going to call this our Escaping Reality Reading Blanket. And we're going to save the product template. And now we can download our mockups. And so when we download mockups, we can decide which type of images we want for our blanket. I really like this flat mockup right on the wood. Um, it makes it easy to, to show the blanket. Um, and I also like having the, you know, some lifestyle mockups. I like this one. So let's download those, generate mockups. All right, so we're going to download our mockups so we have them to make our design for our shop. And now we're going to add to our store. So we're going to add to Kingdom of Threads on Shopify. And we don't really have any design restrictions, so that's fine. We're going to proceed to mockups. I want to make sure that we have the flat mockup as our main mockup image. We're going to proceed to details. And we're going to call this Escaping Reality Reading Blanket. Everything else, the description, the tags, I'm going to deal with that right within Printful. So now we're going to proceed to pricing. When it comes to pricing, you really want to make sure that you factor in whether you offer free shipping, whether you do a lot of discounts if you're going to offer sales, and make sure that you can keep this blanket profitable even through those things. And so for us, we make our, all of our blankets $55 is our retail price because over $50 we offer free shipping, and so we want to make sure we're building in shipping. So we've hit apply, $55, we're going to submit it to the store. Now we're going to jump into Etsy. We're going to write that description, upload our other mock-up images so we have more than one image on our listing, which is really important, and then it'll be available for sale. All right, so now we're going to go right to products within our Shopify shop. We're going to look for our escaping reality blanket, which is right here. And I like to make sure that our product descriptions are the same across products. And so one of the things we're going to do is we're just going to go to Kingdom of Threads, scroll down to our winter collection because that's where all our blankets are and copy the same description and just paste it here and then type some funny description uh, there's no there's nothing like curling up under this blanket when reality gets to be too much gets to be too much everyone will know you're enjoying being somewhere else. All right, so that's just like a funny little thing. We're going to think about what of our tags are, and so we want to manage our tags. Um, we have blankets. We want to make sure we want to do that this is for book lovers. And so we're going to click the book lover tag, and we should be good to go. Okay, so we hit done. And now we have some other images, mock-up images, that we had already created. And so we want to drag those in as well because we want to make sure how uh, we understand what's happening there. And so when we come in here, uh, we're going to go to our downloads. We had already gotten these images, and so we're going to drag them out into downloads so we can see what they are. And so we already have this one up there. This is blank, and so let's take this throw blanket kind of thrown over the side so they can see that the background is white. I want to always make sure there's at least one image that they can see that the background is not printed, just so that's not surprising to anybody, okay? We're going to scroll down. Um, all of this stuff is already filled in. I want to make sure that our company name is always on the SEO. And then um, we're going to change the SEO description to be super soft, cozy reading blanket for book lovers. Okay, so that you got some keywords in there. Okay, hit save. 
And now the product is active in our shop. So that's it. That's how you create your blanket for your print on demand shop. I hope you get started because blankets are amazingly popular products with good margin. No matter your niche, you can come up with a blanket design that your customers will love and it will allow you to grow your product catalog. So go get started with your first blanket. I'm going to cuddle up under mine and read a good book for a bit, but make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the little bell so you get notified when we release a new video on growing your print on demand shop. See you next time.